This is episode number 46 of Two Grown Ups and a Mouse. In today's episode, we will be talking about West Side at Walt Disney World's Disney Springs. Everything Disney in and out of the house. Two grown ups and a mouse. Hi there, I'm AJ. I'm Andrew. And you're listening to Two Grown Ups and a Mouse. The podcast. The podcast. The video cast. If you're watching it, you are watching our video cast on YouTube. You can find us everywhere, Two Grown Ups and a Mouse, social media, Two Grown Ups and a Mouse, all of the podcast systems to grown ups and a mouse or our website to grown ups and a mouse.com that's right so let's get into it all right today we are talking about west side we actually are going to be talking about four different parts of disney springs but we will do four separate episodes sure correct there plus some more <laughs> there well we'll be doing lots of episodes but regarding disney springs We'll be doing four episodes on the four sections of Disney Springs, mm -hmm. which are Marketplace, That's right. The Landing, mm -hmm. Town Center, and of course, today's episode, which is about West Side. We will do another episode about a section of West Side. West Side Story? Not, not that section of West Side. Oh. The food trucks. All right. That'll be a separate episode because we want to go into a little more detail on that. Yeah. But the history of Disney Disney Springs. Downtown Disney? Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. You know, when we were at Disney Springs gathering information for this episode, we saw someone wearing a t-shirt and I stopped him and said, I need to take a picture of you. And he was confused because I don't think he'd ever had somebody do that before. And what did his shirt say? Uh, it'll always be MGM to me or something like that. That's exactly what it said. Yeah. It'll always be MGM to me. And I was like, I need a picture of that because I need to make that for someone I know. That's right. If you're not watching, I'm pointing to my cohort. So. Mickey Mouse? No, I was pointing at you. Oh. There's lots of Mickeys in front of us. There's lots of Mickeys around us, but I was pointing at you. That one back there. Right there. Yes, there's a Mickey behind us. And back. There have been actually a few different names for Disney Springs. It opened in 1975. Mm -hmm. And didn't Disney open in 19, Walt Disney World in 1971? Right? That's... Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, you think we'd know this stuff. It was October 1st. That I know. Epcot has the same anniversary, October 1st. That I know. No, it was, I think it was 1972. And Epcot opened in 1982. 1971. Oh, I was right the first time. Sorry. That's right. Okay. Well, so a few years after... Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom opened mm -hmm. the Lake Buena Vista Shopping Village. That's what it was known as in 1975. Right. Then they changed it to Walt Disney World Village in 1977. That makes more sense. Right. And then it was Disney Village Marketplace in 1989. Mm -hmm. And then they changed it to Downtown Disney in 1997. Right. So, and it's... It looks like that was the longest that it kept its name, you know, because from 77 to 89 was 12 years. Right. So it was downtown Disney from 1997 until 2015. Mm -hmm. And in downtown Disney, there was something called Pleasure Island. Right. Which, well, it, it used to just be three sections, which was Marketplace, which is still there, and West Side, which is still there, and then Pleasure Island. The area that's now the landing used to be a parking lot. Right. <laughs> so pretty, pretty much. Yeah. No, but it's funny because I was looking at something the other day and this is how little you and I watch the classics. Do you know Pleasure Island is a part of uh, Pinocchio? I did not. I didn't either. And I was like, oh, that makes sense that they would name their area after something from one of their movies. So I, I mean, it does, was, but, it, you know, at the time it was nightclubs and, and restaurants, so it kind of made sense to call it Pleasure Island. Exactly. <laughs> right. I mean, it was geared towards a, an older crowd. Right. By older, I well, mean 18 and older, 21 and older. There were right. some clubs that you had to be 21 to enter. Some of them you could be 18 and older to enter. Right. Actually, I think all of Pleasure Island was 18 and older. 
I don't, don't want to misspeak, but I think that it was. We were talking about that the other day because we thought we could have sworn we've seen younger kids like in the Adventures Club. But I don't remember if it was like oh. a time limit or, you know, maybe after eight o'clock or nine o'clock. No, or I mean, no, maybe there were like seven bars, give, give right. or take, you know, the Adventurers Club and the one with the circulating disco floor, you know, like the the comedy club. They had all, <laughs> So maybe it was just that some of the clubs were 18 and older and some of them were 21 and older. Oh, that's possible. So, and maybe anybody could enter Pleasure Island. But right. we digress. Right. It's no longer there. I mean, it's there. The land is there, well, <laughs> but the Pleasure Island part is not. We miss the Adventurers Club the most. That's right. Yeah. yeah well. So the Orange Garage, which is relatively new, mm-hmm. that lets out between West Side and Town Center. Right. I think there's also an entrance at the back of the movie theater. There is. Okay. But it. Like, I was looking well, at the map. Between, and, and Between Splitsville and, and the movie theater. Right. I was looking at the, the map and it looked like the main entrance exit for the parking garage to get to Disney Springs is between Town Center and West Side. You and I took the boat, right. which led us off at the West Side dock. And that is near Cirque du Soleil, the Cirque du Soleil building. A lot of you may remember that there was a show called La Nuba that was there for many years. I saw it twice. Andrew, you saw it once. I thought we saw it twice as well. But either way, right, once you, or twice. <laughs> right, right. Um, and it was a great show, but I mm-hmm. guess, you know, because it was the same show running over and over, they finally decided that they were going to revamp it the building is still there which is kind of what we expected it's just when they announced that they were closing it they didn't really announce what the plans were to do well the fact they haven't turned you know done anything with the building and then uh a few months ago in december november december time frame there was a casting call for Cirque du Soleil in at that town or disney Springs. so I'm guessing they're bringing a new show. So whatever, you know, it'll just well, be a, no, it's not just a guess because when we went to Disney Springs and we took pictures, it says a new Cirque du Soleil experience right. is coming, so, which is what we had. It was a guess before. Actually, you probably have seen that because I'm going to put pictures of stuff here. It's just not there yet. So the people that are listening, well, you can't see it. But if you're watching, you'll see pictures right over here. The magic this is going to be an interesting episode, everybody. Movie magic. No, I was going to do the, the like, the mystery. No, we need like a ooh sound. No, not that one. Anyway, anyway <laughs> so we took the boat. It gets off at the West Side Dock near Cirque du Soleil. Mm-hmm. We don't know what the new Cirque show is going to be, but. Or as we when said, it will be. Exactly. But right. as we said, it is, it does say that there is a new Cirque experience coming. So that's awesome because right. I really enjoy Cirque shows. Yeah, fun. Um, they are building the NBA experience. Mm-hmm. And I saw online that it is scheduled to open August 12th. That's kind huh? of around the corner. Yeah. I mean, we're recording in this beginning of June. Well, I mean, the building is basically there, uh, as you'll see in, in some of the pictures that will show up. But uh yeah, it uh, there you know the but even the the preview sign because they had a little picture of it like they do for most stuff and it said summer 2019 so right so that'll be that'll be late summer 2019 but that's hey yeah. still summer yep and the Disney Springs is always changing by I, I'll use my air quotes as I'm prone to do by always. I'm not saying like every week or every month, but it's like anything else. You know, they want to revamp it and keep everything current. And, you know, there are vendors, there are people that rent space there. So people will come right. and go. Um, and that's, well, a lot, a lot of the stores, I mean, they're not, you know, a lot of the stores at, at Disney Springs aren't Disney stores. I mean, there's, there's a giant Under Armour store. There's a Levi's store. There's, uh, we'll talk you know, about those when we get to right. But, to the he, landing but even on this the side, <laughs> there's there's a, a, a fit to run store. There's a well, we're going to go a over Duvall's, right. So it's the, you know if, as those as their businesses change, maybe they don't want to be at Disney Springs and they they leave and somebody else takes their place. Right. Some of them are, some of the businesses are more successful. Right. At that location, and some of the stores are not as successful. 
So that's why it's changing, you know, the the restaurants, you know, after a while, some of them continue to do well and some of them don't do as well. Sure. So the House of Blues restaurant is right near Cirque mm-hmm. and where the NBA experience is going to be. That has a music hall, a restaurant and bar, a House of Blues gear shop, and the quick service is right outside. It's a smokehouse. We passed by there. Right. The pricing was pretty good on that, on yeah. the qu- quick service. I thought we should try that sometime. They had some brisket items. I think they had like brisket nachos, right. if I remember correctly. Um, but that looked really good. And there are a few quick service options, which is another great thing about Disney Springs. You don't always have to have a reservation. You don't have to do table service. So that's really nice. Um, And then as you were starting to say, like as we're walking, these these are basically in order. I was looking at the map as I was making the notes about them. There is a fit to run. There is a curl by Sammy Duvall. Mm -hmm. And something new is Pepe by Jose Andrews. And... For, I took this from the website. It's savor Spanish sandwiches, gazpacho, seasonal salads, and refreshing sangria. Mm-hmm. Right next to that, so it's almost the same building, I want to say, is Haleo, Haleo by Jose Andres. And that's the table service restaurant. That's right. right in the, so I think it's basically the same location. Andrew and I have an iPad in front of us. So I was just pointing it out to him. It's like if you go if you enter on one side, you can go into the table right. service. If you get enter on the other side, you can get the quick service, which oh, is Jaleo's right there. Which is different than Wolfgang Puck. Wolfgang Puck had a full service restaurant, and they have the Wolfgang Puck Express on another location. Correct. There and is actually a, Wolfgang Puck isn't he, wasn't Wolfgang Puck in West Side? Uh, it's well, it's technically the the town center. Oh, okay, that's why we didn't. But yeah, there's a Wolfgang it. Puck bar and grill right which is so. the restaurant and the wolfgang puck express right but we'll talk about those when we talk about the other sections i was just making the comparison that these new um jose andres locations one is a quick service one is a table service so it's nice because it gives you options and you can't always get the advanced dining reservations adrs sure. uh, dining typically opens up 180 days depending on if you can book it through walt disney world.com you know, the my disney experience.com or not mm-hmm and sometimes you go and you can't book it. So maybe you try closer to your trip. You still can't book it. But you can always walk up to a restaurant that's table service and see if you're able to book. That's right. That's an option. But it's nice that they have a lot of quick service options just in case mm-hmm. people don't have reservations. Maybe they don't want to make reservations. Maybe they don't know what their plans are going to be. Right. So. Well, and it's also typically a, a drop cheaper. So <laughs> Sometimes. There's a dot on the map. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It, this map is not the best. No. Nope. <laughs> um, t- you click on something and it takes you somewhere else. And yeah, it's it it again. For- There's something called City Works Eatery. Right. It's on the map, but it's just in the middle of the sidewalk on the map. So I'm not sure what that is going to be. I'm not sure if that's going to be a kiosk. You know, maybe something that's not stationary. I'm really not sure. <coughs> So Bongo's Cuban Cafe has authentic Cuban cuisine and cocktails, and they also have a gift shop. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it still is, but that was owned by Gloria Stefan from the Miami Sound Machine. Because I also heard that they will be closing it soon in the coming months. You know, I think I heard that as well. Right. So uh, it's... While he's looking up information on bongos, I'll keep on talking about some of the other great things that you can do at West Side of Disney Springs. There is Splitsville, which is a bowling alley and dining venue. You can eat at the lanes or they have a separate restaurant area, don't they? I want to say that when it first opened, Andrew and I ate there. I think we popped in to get a, a, a like, quick thing, like right? Yeah, we had like appetizers. We didn't really have a, a large... Um, a large meal there and in the back behind the right next to splitsville is the movie theater and behind the movie theater is pop gallery which is like an art gallery but they sell a lot of jewelry and very artsy again with my air quotes something very artsy right so there are some small shops like there were i didn't get the name of it but there used to be a shop called something silver and they sold silver jewelry It was there for quite a while, actually, but that recently closed because we went into this new venue and she said that it had closed about a month ago, I think is what she 
the right the employee yeah. told us. Did Something I say like employee, not cast member, because it is not a Disney company. That's right. She they they take pictures where they can superimpose your face over like a Star Wars picture or you know putting you in the scene of a movie. I thought that was a Disney company, but apparently they're not. They're right. an outside vendor, and they also are the ones that do the pictures for the balloon ride. Right. Which we found out from this from this employee. Andrew right. has found the article that says rumor. So it's just a rumor. Well, it, I was just looking at another article that basically said, you know, ever since Bongo's opened, it basically has been rumors that it was going to close. So, but uh, I've I, I seen it in a few places recently. So I'm, or here's a. And they're showing that reservations are still av- available until November. So if it is, if the rumor is true, it seems like it won't close. Well, three days later, confirmed Bongo's Cuban Cafe at Disney Springs will close in August of 2019. Hmm. So. And yes, it was uh, Gloria Estefan and her husband. We'll be looking to, as you know, we go there often, so we'll keep everyone posted once we see exactly what's happening in that area. Right. So either way, there's a small shop like where they can take your picture. And there's a Sosa Family Cigars where they smoke inside of there, don't they? Um, Even though there are rules against smoking inside of buildings in Florida, as there are in many states, um, because they sell cigars, I believe they're allowed to smoke inside of there. Yeah, it's some sort of rule. But uh, we haven't been in there for a while because I don't don't smoke anymore. I used to partake in a nice cigar, but not anymore. And I'm asthmatic. So even walking by there, I tend to walk away because even when they're not lit, it has a, a it's. A strong smell. Yeah. I don't want to use the word odor because that's you know some people well, enjoy I mean, it. Yeah, it's very aromatic when you when you walk in, even if nobody is smoking. And so it, exactly, it smells, it smells like a cigar shop. So right, and there's a Pele soccer shop and mm-hmm. a sunglass icon, and both of those I think are relatively new. Of course, to you and I, re- new is could be within the past two three years. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> so. We don't we don't go to West Side most often. We like Marketplace the best. Out of everything in Disney Springs. I I shouldn't say that because there is a store in the landing or town center, in the center part that I do go to, but we... That's town center. That is is town center is the center part I'm talking about. Uh, But for the most part, we tend to stay around Marketplace. Right. Right. So let's see. There's our, one of our favorites, Candy Cauldron. Yep. And in there, you can buy fresh or prepackaged goods, just like Goofy's Candy Company, which is over on West Side. So it's kind of nice that they kind of have a good balance sure. between the two sides. Um, what's also nice is to get from West Side to Marketplace, you can walk there and it's not too long of a walk. You could, we took a boat mm-hmm. from one end of Disney Springs to the other end of Disney Springs. Literally. <laughs> so you could park at one side of Disney Springs, take the boat, go to the other side, or you could go to the middle. Right. You know, there's so many different variations. They also, and we'll talk more about it when we get to Marketplace, but they have a bridge that takes you from Marketplace to Town Center. Right. Which, you know, it's kind of in the middle. So there's lots of different ways to travel once you're inside of Disney Springs. Mm-hmm. Which is really nice. Um, we really loved when they built that bridge because often we'll start at one end, walk the bridge, go to the couple of stores that are in town center. Right. And from there, we'll just walk through marketplace, but we don't have to walk Wait, one way and back through all the people traffic. Yeah, we're not doubling back, so... Right, so we only have to go one direction, which is really nice. Yep. Um, especially because the marketplace, most of the stuff is on one side of the path well, for, for, yeah, for l- I mean, lack of a better explanation. Whereas West side, which we're really focusing on today, th- um, I feel like there's more on either side of you. Yeah, a little bit. So um, there, so there, the candy cauldron, like I said, is very similar to Goofy's. And then there is a section called Exposition Park. And there are currently three food trucks there. Mm-hmm. We, As I said already, we will talk about those three food trucks. I think we'll do that the next episode because I think that they might change them every once in a while. They might. You know, it's um, because if you if you go to DisneySprings.com, which is where we located the map to confirm everything we walked through just to make it a little easier 
It doesn't even say the name of the food trucks on the map. I have a feeling that they might change sporadically. Right. So, but they were really good. And that'll be a, um, an interesting episode because you'll find out what was there. And that was just about a week or two ago yep. that we went there. The superhero headquarters is the name of one store. But you and I call it the Marvel store. I mean, isn't it a Marvel store? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the sign outside is a big Marvel sign too, so right. But the name of the store is Superhero Headquarters, so it, right. I I thought that was kind of amusing. And inside of that store, again, you can have your picture taken. They yep. have that little area for the Marvel pictures, so you can have your face put on a Hulk picture, your face put on a Black Widow picture. You can you know do all those sorts mm-hmm. of things. That's on one side of the store. They sell Marvel magic bands in there. They sell Marvel clothing in there. They sell Marvel toys in there. So, and actually, I bought a Marvel Dooney in there. Yeah, I, I think I bought the the Biddy Dooney. Yeah, the Avengers do. do yeah, 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 the Avenger. It's the silhouette, the shape of the purse is called the a Biddy Satchel. I bought that in there, or right. asked you to buy it for me. One or the other. One or the other. There is a large Starbucks mm-hmm. on West Side. It's close to where the West Side kind of merges with the Landing and Marketplace. Um, it's really nice because it is a big Starbucks. And, and there's places to sit inside. There's places to sit inside. There's places to sit outside. Right. And they have a camera in there where you can sit in front of it. And it's kind of, it almost looks like a chalk outline. Yeah. Of you. A, kind of a chalk, chalkboard effect. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's very interesting looking. And there's another one, I think on the West coast. So you can see them and they can see you. So that's. At Disney Springs in. Oh, is that? Well, Disneyland. That would make sense. That's yeah. what I thought, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to miss misspeak. Right <laughs> now, we always call the hot air balloon the characters in flight, but per the map, this is Aerofile, the world leader in balloon flight. Right, but we call it characters in flight, though. So it used to be characters in flight at some point. <laughs> well, the the balloon on the map kind of looks like what the balloon looks like now, which is right. a dark blue and a light blue. So there, I don't think there's any character images on there, whereas there might not be. In a previous iteration, there were characters on the balloon, hence the name characters in flight. Right. But sometimes they can't go up due to the weather. And wasn't it this past trip that you were watching them trying to land it? Yeah, they were. It was windy. So the the whole thing was moving quite a lot. So it looked like it was probably just at that point right before they would close it because it didn't look like it was a fun ride. Or maybe it is a fun ride if you're into that kind of thing. But not me. He's scared of heights. I don't like heights. Though you did go on characters in flight with me. I did. And you can and it, fi- and it wasn't that bad. I mean, you know. All I've things. I've heard you can find coupons for that on Groupon. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if that's still true or not. That was a long time ago. I haven't looked personally, but I did hear that that is something you can find Groupon deals on. So you might want to look into that if you're interested in doing it. However, be prepared that it's not always open. If it's raining, they won't run it. If it's too windy, there's like... Whatever the uh, wind factor is, it's like more than 10 or 15 miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, whatever. If it's windy, there was lightning within 20 or 30 miles. It's raining, currently raining. You know, there's a, there's a bunch. Right. And then, you know, you don't probably don't want to go up there if it's cold. Well, cold to you may be co- different than cold <laughs> to us, but we don't want to go up there when it's cold. <laughs> but I guess my point for that is if you're going on a short trip, I wouldn't plan on doing that because you might need to reschedule a day whereas if you're there on a longer trip you can try and do it at the beginning of your trip and then if you're not able to go up then you have other days that you'll be able to take advantage of that right there is a disney style store and that has a lot of the newer more fashionable items you know like the Mm -hmm. they did the purple potion line and the millennium pink line and now they have a new pink one and right all those things tend to be in that store, things that are newly released, you know, so very like, for lack of a better word, hip, you know, the, the very stylish kind of stuff is in there, sure. but not just adults, not just kids, a little bit of both. Right. And then lastly, on that side, because this is far from lastly at Disney Springs, they have four permanent kiosks. Mm-hmm. They have a haagen kiosk, Wetzel's Pretzels, Joffrey's, but it's... It said Joffrey's handcrafted smoothies, but I'm pretty sure they sold smoothies and coffee because Joffrey's is known for their coffee. They're right. actually <laughs> Joffrey's coffee and tea. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get a cup of coffee there as well. Mm-hmm. The only problem I have with Joffrey's is they don't have sweet and low. Well, 
So if you're finicky like me and you want a particular type of sweetener, I do recommend that you bring your own. <laughs> That's what I do. Because their coffee is fine. I enjoy their coffee, but I, I'm, I'm so accustomed to using sweet and low that, you know, drinks don't taste the same when it's something else. Sure. And then there is a Yasaki kiosk, which they had sake. Mm-hmm. And they had uh, Japanese pastries or something. They had a different assortment of stuff. Yeah, and, so, and they had some su- sushi. Did they have frushi? I don't remember, but well, th- those you are... Can, you can find the menu online, I'm sure, at, uh, <laughs> on your right. My Disney Experience. So. I mean, they're called kiosks, but they're four freestanding buildings. And, I mean, the buildings are permanent. Right. You know, they're not like movable carts they're not, or they're anything. They're not the carts, so they're... There'll always be something there, right? You know, I mean, right. and and there are a few carts inside of Disney Springs. You know, now that they've right. realized that people um, don't always get drunk, you know, just because you offer them alcohol, that doesn't mean you're going to have a whole bunch of drunks running around, right? So there are there's more. A, there's a few alcohol carts, mm-hmm. uh, ice cream, the usual, right? Uh, uh, right, but that's churros. but <laughs> but so basically, what we went over today is what we saw. In May Mm -hmm. of 2019, when we went to visit, because as we said, things are changing. So, you know, who knows? We're going to next episode, we'll go ahead and talk about the three food trucks Mm -hmm. because they're we were there recently and we don't know. They might change them. Maybe we'll talk about them and one or two or three of them will change in the near future. So I think we'll talk about that next. And then in some further episodes, we will talk about the other three sections of Disney Springs. Honestly, Disney Springs is one of our favorite places to go. Yep. As adults, you know, without kids, we really, I mean, we have the annual passes. We can get into all four parks. Actually, we have the passes. We can get into the water parks. So we have a lot of options on what we can do with our passes, but even having that, we still prefer Disney Springs. That's right. It's a really great place. We go there during the day. We go there at night. I mean, it's no matter what time of the day, there's always something to do. There's things to eat, attractions to to see. If it's raining, you can go see a movie or go to Splitsville. So there's a lot of different options sure. over there. Sure. But on that note, I have some things I need to get done because it is the evening. Mm-hmm. For once, I'm not saying I'm going to eat dinner. That's shocking. I know it is shocking. But we just want to say thank you for listening. Absolutely. And of course, if you're watching, thank you for watching. And again, you can find us, Two Grownups and a Mouse, pretty much everywhere. That's right. All social media, all of the podcast systems, or if you look uh, look us up on YouTube, Two Grownups and a Mouse. Yep. Or just go to our website, twogrownupsandamouse.com. We'd love for you to rate and review us. We'd love for you to tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors, tell a stranger. We'd love to have everybody. That's right. The more the merrier. Tell everybody. If, tell everybody. If you have any requests for anything, give them to us. And on that, I will say good night. Good morning. Okay. Good afternoon. Good evening. No, just bye. Okay. Goodbye. Bye.